Hey dudes, today I want to talk about clip gain nudge. So let's jump right into it and see what the heck I'm talking about. So clip gain nudge is just a fancy way to say we're going to nudge the volume up or nudge the volume down. That's it. So let's listen to this section. Okay, so we can barely hear the dialogue. Uh, it's pretty clear to me that the backgrounds are just too spicy, so we are gonna clip, gain, nudge the volume down. So the coolest thing to me about this particular tool is that I don't have to do this one clip at a time. I can just grab a bunch of clips and bring them down. So all I need to do is just basically select all the clips that I want to engage, hold control, hold shift, and then on the arrow pad over here, I just hit arrow up, which I don't want to do because we're too loud, but you see that that brought the volume up. And you can look either at the waveform itself or over here where it says plus three dB. I'm going to move that down now with the down arrow and I'm moving in a much better direction. So let's bring it back up to where it was and I'm gonna do this in real time because this is also something that's really exciting to me as a mixer is that I can hit play. It's too loud, control shift, down arrow. There sure is a lot of pressure to get this right. What if I don't get it right? Wait, what if I mess something up? And don't worry, you can't really mess it up because all you gotta do is just go back and go up and down again or grab one clip, go up and down. But that's it, that's basically how you do clip gain nudge. So let me show you a preference that I like to change and then we'll get out of here. Okay, so you go to Pro Tools, Preferences, navigate to this editing tab, and here you go, clip gain nudge value. So I have set this to 1.5 and I have done that on purpose. Uh, in the sound community, we scientifically believe that one move either up or down is by 3 dB at a time. So I've set my clip gain nudge value to 1.5 dB, which is like a half a move. So I can basically just train my brain to go control shift up, up. That's 3 dB, that's one move. But sometimes I want to make a half a move and that's okay. So that's my personal preference that I like to use, but you can change the clip gain value to whatever you want. So that's about it. This is a useful tool, especially when you're on the fly to not have to start and stop and start and stop and get everything perfect. As a mixer, you just want to have something in your bag that like you go past the sound effect or you're listening to a background that's just too loud. Bam, just go grab it real quick down, 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 there. That's like within the ballpark, I can move on. We're always thinking about things as layers of paint. So just do the biggest things that you need to do. And then we can get more and more and more sensitive every single pass. But wow, what a wonderful tool. You can do one clip at a time, multiple clips at a time, all your backgrounds, a whole section effects, whatever you want. So use it how you see fit, but I hope this one is helpful and I'll see you on the next one. Later dudes.